Hello developers, welcome to my channel. Right now I have my 2017 base model. I will test this uh, device for mobile application. What I'll do is I'll create a simple project in Android Studio, in Xcode, and last but not the least, a Flutter project on VS Code. First, let us talk a little bit about this device. This is late 2017 model, comes with dual core Intel i5, 1.5 GHz of CPU, RAM of 8 GB and storage of 120. With this spec, it handles day-to-day -day web browsing and light activities with ease. For all the de web developers, I would say you will not face any issue. If you are only a web developer, you can get better Windows device on the same price. Running VMs and dual booting is something I do not recommend. 120 GB of device storage is barely useful guys if you are a mobile developer or any other developer not only your project files but you will also have documents various productivity related apps even design applications such as Adobe XT personally I use external storage I have Samsung T5 550 GB of storage I use it as main storage you need to store all my projects, all my documents, all images, videos, etc. If you want to become a mobile app developer, then you should be developing iOS application as well as Android application. To develop an iOS application, you must have a Mac without which you cannot develop and MacBook Air is the cheapest Mac you can get. Uh, it comes at around 65000 in India and $930 in US. I will drop both the Amazon links down in the description. You can check it out later. So, let's start building application. Then. I'm going to start up the Android Studio now. Create a new project. I'm going to choose a basic activity, give it an application name. For the test purpose, I'm going to store it under my, under my document folder. I'm not going to move it to my external storage. Usually, I would move to the external storage. Sometimes I've seen some performance difference. For this test purpose, I'm going to leave it on the document. So I'm going to let it load, and we're going to open the build tab of the Android Studio. Uh, I don't use Android Studio that much. I've moved to Flutter development for a long time now. So the build time it took was 33 seconds. This time it was really fast. Sometimes it will take more than three minutes. So I'm gonna run the application. I'm gonna skip forward till the build is completed for this application. So we are building the task and emulator is running. Emulator is currently Android P right now. I have fast forwarded the entire video because I have seen uh, Android Studio is not optimized for Mac and it's quite slower than Xcode. Uh, you will see the difference once I load the Xcode after completing our tests in Android Studio. So here it took around 1 minute and 20 seconds to successfully build and after that it took a long time to come to this screen and it crashed. <sighs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the application once again. Since this is the second time it took only 4 seconds to build and uh, any time now the application going to appear. Ah finally we have a successful screen or I should say the first screen of the Android application so uh, I'll try to change something so that you could see how fast the changes are reflected and how's the interaction in the Android Studio uh, I don't experience that much of a lag or slowness that could hinder someone's work I know it's not that fast but it's not that slow either so I'm going to try I'm trying to change this text uh, this one Android Studio doesn't have hot reload I guess I'm so used to flutter and hot reload uh, I guess yeah see the changes are reflected it's quite fast so I'm going to show activity monitor see uh, we have only 9% of idle maybe a screen recording is going on the background maybe that have taken some storage memory 
Uh, this is the utilizations and the memory. Let's jump to our Xcode now. So the com uh, for Android Studio, it took me more than 10 minutes for me from creating project to running on this uh, emulator. But for the Xcode, it was only three minutes and four seconds. I believe the Xcode is much more optimized for Mac than Android Studio is for the Mac. So here I have created a new project. Uh, it's a simple project with a basic nothing fancy. I'm just playing around. I don't work much on the Xcode. So I'm gonna run the application now. It's gonna uh, fire up the iPhone simulator. The simulator is iPhone XE 2020, the latest iPhone XE. Uh, I'm waiting for the simulator to launch. See the build has been succeeded. Simulator and the amazing thing is the simulator turn on so fast <laughs> as compared to Android. It's like a tortoise and a rabbit. So it's gonna show hello world. <laughs> so if we check on activity monitor, we have 33 percentage of idle CPU utilization, only 4 GB utilized. I'll change the text to see how fast it can reflect those changes. As you can see, it's quite fast, very fast. I have not cut any scenes is a it's a just plain simple video with a little bit fast forward by two times i guess so this is it now let's go to flutter finally we are here guys we're going to create a flutter project now by launching our vs uh, uh, visual studio code uh we command shift p and we're going to give a new project name Give it a test project. I'm gonna store it on the documents folder. As I said before, I used to store everything on the external drive. Now I'm doing on a document folder of the Mac for this test purpose only. So here we are letting the ID create all the files for us so that we could start making our Flutter project. As compared to Xcode, it takes longer, but as compared to Android, it's much faster. I have some extension installed. So uh, let's run this, uh, run the uh, debug or without, yeah, with debug on iPhone simulator, not on Android emulator. <laughs> Don't do that. Emulators are really so simulator as compared to emulators are much faster. So I have got uh, the entire build of the Flutter project on Visual Studio is six minute, and we uh, Xcode was three minute, and for the Android Studio was eleven minutes. So you can see the difference here. Uh, we have idle of four percent and memory of four GB used. Uh, these are the details of the activity monitor if you would like to see something here we have seen the build time is 387 I guess so it has finally launched oh sorry the final build was 107 seconds so I'll create a stateless widget give it a name new home uh, give it a center and a text hello world maybe maybe youtube yeah let let the home call our youtube <laughs> it's because we haven't given a scaffold let's give a scaffold and center child and a youtube sorry for the spelling guys Mm, you can like comment and share <laughs> So this is it 72% idle. Okay. Thank you guys for watching this video if you've come this far uh, If you have any question, uh, you can comment down below and If you want me to do a specific bill, then you can comment me the git URL and uh, That's it. Thank you guys. Bye